welcome back. And now most tourists come home from a trip to Cornwall with a few pasties. In fact, they've probably eaten them. Mm. Uh, perhaps a touch of sunburn if they're really lucky. Fish. <laughs> Always good fish. When a music producer went to the Cornish coast for a few days, he discovered a group of shanty singers who went on to score a gold album and a string of hits. A film based on that story is coming out very soon. It's great fun too. Take a look. I never guessed once. My boy's just been talent spotted. By who? Your admirer. Apparently he's some kind of big shot in the music industry. Watching you sing was one of those rare moments in the music business when you realise you are witnessing something truly original. The bottom line is, you've got a unique sound. And we believe we can help you get it released by a major label. How they laughed. <laughs> uh, well, two of the real fishermen's friends. Uh, maybe you should guess at home who's who. Uh, the real fishermen's friends here on my right are Jamie Brown and Jason Nicholas. Um, join us. Morning to you. Lovely Morning. to see you. Morning. And two of the actors from the film are Dave Johns and David Hayward. Hey. Morning all. You're looking <laughs> the part with everything. Oh, yeah. Heyman, sorry. I, I, I love the hat and everything. Thank you. Um, but, um, before I talk to you, I want to talk to the real fisherman's friends. It's lovely yeah. to see you. So this is an amazing story, which which is a true story. It is very much true. Yeah, the bones of the bones of the film are very much true. Yeah. yeah. So um, so talk about the trueness of it. So you all sing together. We were all just singing together, just for the fun of it, really. And there's a, there's a bit of a culture of singing around Cornwall. It's not it's not uncommon for men to sing, male voice choirs and what have you, and a lot of singing in the pub. And uh, that's how it started. And then we just started singing for charity and people were enjoying it. And then this music producer came down and said, I could do something with this. And we did burst out laughing, you know. We, did you, you did burst out like we, yeah, we, we exactly did. Like we that. did exactly like that. And we said, he said, do you want me to get something? Yeah, give it a try, you know. So it ended up snowballing and snowballing. And we got management. And he said, ah, oh, there's got to be a film in this. And I'm going to get you to Glastonbury. And we go, ah, yeah, 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 right, you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know what? We've done it, you know, we're singing at Twickenham and... Uh, Glastonbury three or four times, and uh, and now the, and now the film, yeah. and uh, you know, oh, brilliant! Well, it's, it's a brilliant story, but that doesn't always. It's not always the case. I imagine lots of scripts come your ways, yeah. guy, guys, and um, you think, nah, is this going to sell? What sold this to I, you? I think it. Um, I don't know about dead, but out, out the page jumped it. Um, the sort of like the camaraderie of the guys, you know. And I think that's what we try to get across. Mm. And uh, because as actors, we um, the cast got on great down in Cornwall. We were in Port Isaac for like five weeks, you know, in that beautiful part of the country. And uh, I think for us, the, it was the um, the camaraderie. And, and who doesn't like to sing a sea shanty? Oh. And the warmth and the humanity yeah, the, that yeah. came from the script and just the story of these guys. Yeah. It's so inspirational. I mean, it's a life embellisher, this story. It's great. And there's so much of family. You know, it's about family, it's about friends, it's Our about loyalty. community. Go on. And about the choices you make in your life as to the quality of your life. Mm -hmm. And in these times of, you know, a bit political turbulence and moral kind of confusion, people should go to this film and just come out with a big smile on their face and think, wow, isn't the world a great place? Well, not we only that, you get to see a lot of Cornwall in the film as well. You do. Yeah. It's a great antidote for Brexit, you know, you just forget about Brexit. I can't believe you're bringing that up. <laughs> Don't bring Brexit up. <laughs> Come on. Just gonna Come get on. One interview without it. We're going to lift, <laughs> let's lift the mood even more. Let's see the, the fictional fishermen's let's friends get right. in on. actions. Yeah, the here you are seeing ones. Little Lies. So let's give it a bit of a critique. What do you think of their singing? <laughs> they actually done very, very well. Oh, we were very impressed. Yeah. They worked hard to get it right. They came and sang with us a few times in rehearsals and that, and uh, they worked very hard on it. Also, we it. were very, very lucky. The guys were performing <laughs> yeah. at the Minac, the open air Minac uh, Theatre in oh, Cornwall. Yeah. Yeah. And Dave and I were invited. We were the only two that could make it. We were invited to join them. So we went on at the end for an encore, and we sang three yeah. numbers with them. And that was pretty <laughs> cool, front of a yeah. packed house. It was yeah. genuinely exciting. On the cliffs with the backdrop of the ocean and yeah. the stars and the sky. Oh. The thing I was more worried about was being a Geordie was getting the Cornish accent. <laughs> well, yeah. that's what I was going to ask scary. And I remember one day we were singing on the plat. We were filming a shot on the plat, and I could see a couple of the guys standing just 
off camera, just looking at us like that. And I said, could you get them out of my eye? Like, <laughs> I don't want that disapproving look. It's not just, it's not just the accent, though, is it? You have to yeah. um, explain to the music producer and the actor um, in, the, in the piece about some of the language as well, because you use Cornish words, don't well, you? Well, this is it, yeah, something like directly would mean well, like... That was my one, directly. Yeah, it's like sort of manana with less urgency. <laughs> what, so directly, if, you, if someone says... You'll do that directly. Uh, yeah. Do that. It means uh, it probably won't get done. It's just like tomorrow or the day might after. Be done. What is the Later. point? What is the point of a shanty song? The point, the point is, um, on the ships, you'd have 20 men on deck hauling these great big sails up and that, working on the sheets. The ropes are called sheets. And it's just to make them lay back on the ropes at the same time. So you go, haul away, haul oh, away, okay. like that. And that's, 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 that's the reason for the shanty. Yeah, it's very, very simple. It's a chant and it's usually call and response. Have you, you've, you, so you've sung together. Yeah. yeah. Just to put you on the spot, any Ooh. chance of just wow. a little... No. Go on, go on please. Go on. Go on, yeah, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Do, uh, we can do that, can we? Go on. Uh. In South Australia I was born. Heave away, haul away. South Australia, round Cape Horn. We're bound for South Australia. Haul away, a rolling king. Heave away, haul away. Haul away, you hear me sing. We're bound for South Australia. Oh, you good. You see, these guys are going to retire now that yeah. we're here. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, right. yeah. What you don't feel is the vibrations actually go through yeah. your body when you guys are singing. You've made it's my fantastic. day. We're out of time, but stay okay. and sing for us uh, in a moment. <laughs> uh, Fisherman's <laughs> Friends is in cinemas Friday the 15th of March, that's isn't right. it? Good luck Thank with you it. All. Thank that you. is it from us today. Breakfast back tomorrow from 6.